How's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel, Fast Hands Gaming. As promised, today's video is a giant spoiler on, you guessed it, defense mode. Um, so first off though, I would like to let you guys know that this does come out Friday and or Thursday if you are obviously 12 hours ahead. Um, but you should know you are not getting the new summoner level. You are not getting the new hero level and you are not getting a new hero. Um, what you are getting is defense mode and only defense mode. Um, again, it comes out Friday. This whole video is about this new mode, so let's go ahead and get into it. So first off, you are now the defender instead of the attacker. So obviously you have to defend instead of attack. What's the difference? You don't have to worry about the 15 round limitation. Um, so obviously if the attacker can't beat in 50 ra 15 rounds, you win. Um, so all you have to really do so far in the new defense mode is you have to survive. Um, how to unlock lands. Each land has its own condition to unlock. Depends on campaign progress. So those of you who are not doing campaign, I suggest once you watch this video, get on grind campaign because campaign is going to play a big role in how many lands you can play in the new defense mode. So let's see here. You have to, you have to set up the formations to defend the fortress. So basically you have a castle, you have to defend. Every land has multiple stages to defend. Every stage, one main construction plus three towers. So minimums of one, max is three towers. You have to set up a formation for all towers. Every tower needs one individual formation and have to defend its own lane. So to sum this up, basically you are the defender, you have to survive three waves. Each of those waves has its own team and own formation. Um, now, when I did ask, because I wanted to ask as many questions for this for you, as I could for you guys, is one wave is basically, or all three waves is one full attack. So that means that your heroes will not replenish HP between rounds um, unless, obviously, you have a healer on your team. Um, I did ask... If, sorry, I'm just kind of going through over my notes. So yeah, you're defending against three waves. Each team has to have its own formation. The formations will depend on the lane. Um, so that, we, I didn't get any information on that. So obviously when we get this, we'll have to find out on our own what that means. I'm guessing that this is where obviously raised level is going to come into play. Because having three formations... To survive three different waves, that means you need a total of 15 heroes. Um, now, I will let you know that right now it is only three waves and three lanes. However, in the next update, there will be adding a fourth lane. So that means a tw total of 20 heroes that you need to have, and they all have to be different formations. So being strategic, being smart, and trying out different builds is going to play a big role in this mode. Um, definitely gonna want that HP and HP and that uh, damage reduction because you want to survive as many rounds as possible. All right, let's go ahead and go to the next slide. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, you have Wave One. They're all level 100. Not super hard. They're, I mean, these are if you obviously you play the game. These are all usually one star heroes. And as you can see, they got two second wave, third wave. So again, you have to have. A specific formation set and you can from what I have been told is you cannot have the same formation in each wave so everything has to be its own um, I did not ask if the summoner could be the same um, I'm thinking if the formation has to be different then I'm guessing the summoner has to be different as well um, I have like I said I've asked as many questions as I could about this new mode um, if you guys think of any questions Put them in the comments, and then I will try to get back to you guys for each of those questions if they get back to me. Um, so let's go ahead and go to the next slide. So here we have the islands. Um, I have no idea. Well, I guess the first one is Dreamland. So you have stage one, stage two, through five. And obviously, your first reward is the book to unlock the summoner because, again, the summoner... New summer level is coming, so they want to start giving those out to pl players. Um, 
but yeah, so let's see. It looks like we have like a, a black hole. We have Dreamland, and all of us, and like I said, the each of these lands will be unlocked depending on where you are in campaign. Um, I have they didn't tell me how far in campaign. I just would grind as many levels as you can. Um, that's my, you know, my suggestion at this point. Once you guys watch this video, um, also each wave will get harder. Um, so I don't know. You know, obviously, again, again, that, that plays a big role in how you set up your formation and your team, what team you want to run. Um, I already told you guys, each lane has its own condition you have to follow. So let's go ahead and go to the next way, next slide. So you, uh, you raise the main construction. So the main, this is your castle, essentially, uh, HP, and raise its level. The tower, the tower also can level up. And every level increases the stats of your heroes. So obviously, higher level towers, higher the better stats your heroes get. That means they can survive longer. Um, tower level cannot be higher than your main construction. So obviously, you want to be getting your castle as high as possible first. Um, you can only level them up on the preparation phase. So I'm guessing this is going to work a lot like um, Guild Wars. So you're going to have a, the prep the prep stage. And then that's where you set all your formations, just like in Guild Wars. And then once you start, then obviously it's like the battle phase. Um, defense rules. If the main construction HP is reduced to zero, so obviously you lose all of your heroes, you will lose this, that stage. You don't get any rewards for losing that stage. That's a pretty obvious thing. There are two types of rewards. Instant reward. Every stage you clear, you will get an in instant reward. And then there's an idle reward. Every stage you clear, the idle rewards of the land will increase more and more. Now, I don't know if that means that you can just sit. Say you took 20, 12 hours and then you clear a stage. I don't know if that means how. I don't. They didn't tell me how many much of the prizes you'll get or what the prizes are. Um, I'm guessing gold. You know, probably a lot of that campaign, but I could be wrong. Maybe they'll give us scrolls, diamonds. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so I also asked if that if they would be constantly being attacked because obviously if you're defending, just like in PvP, you never you never know what the formation is going to be. You never know who's hitting you. You just try to set up the best that you can. Um, I didn't get an answer on that, uh, so I'm guessing it'll be like that. In that sense, it'll be like PvP where you don't know what you're gonna be going up against. You're just gonna set a formation and hope for the best. So going on to the next slide, obviously you have to de set, uh, defend against waves of enemies. Uh, level up the main con construct tower. Uh, you have to keep the main HP higher than zero. When the, when it falls, when you fail to defend the tower, the waves of enemies will deal damage to the main construction. So obviously, if you f fail the defense, and don't forget there's three different lanes defending this tower, um, then they start hitting your main construction, and once it hits zero, then you lose. Um, Obviously, raise its level. Uh, the tower can level up, and every level increases. Yep, so this is just kind of... Okay, so this is just the same one. But yeah, so so far... So again, to sum it up, defense mode is going to be you defending your castle. You have three defenders, or three teams, or three lanes. Sorry, you have three lanes, and you have each of those lanes have to have its own formation. That's five heroes. That's a total of... Well, three yeah, so that's fifteen, and then I, and then, if your main construction or your main castle it gets taken down to zero, you lose. So it's gonna be basically a combination of PvP, Guild Wars, and campaign. This is a PVE, so you're not playing other players; you're playing against the game. Um, but yeah, let's see here if I have any other notes to just to bring up real quick. Um, I already told you guys, obviously, your HP will not increase. Some games, every round, you can go back to normal. Like I said, one wave is basically three, which is three different teams hitting your one team. That's, one, that's basically one attack. So your team has to survive three waves. And if it does, then you pass that stage. Um... That's pretty much all the questions that I asked. I'll go back and just show you these slides again. That way, 
If you guys want to pause it and read it over yourselves, you can. Again, this is this is the wave. Um, and then obviously you're going to be sending your defenders. And then here's the islands. Looks like there's only four islands at the moment. Um, so you get no summoner allowed. Five stages, but obviously it's going to go a lot. Oh, yeah, out of 15. Um, I don't know what this little cupcake ice cream thing is. I'm guessing another reward, something you can get, maybe trade in. Um, and here it, is, here it is again talking about the main construction. Again, it's your castle. So you guys, I, I don't remember the name of the game, but there is a game where you have three different lanes and you have heroes in each of those lanes that have to take on a whole bunch of different uh, enemy heroes. It's kind of what this is looking like it's going to be. And obviously if all of your lanes fail, then you lose. Um, this is where, and a lot of, you know, everyone was like, I don't understand raise level. This is where raise level is going to be used and utilized the most. Um, because guess what? 15 heroes, most of us only have maxed, maybe all five. Some of us, some people don't have, even have that. So raise level, obviously, if you don't already have, or I have been unlocking that, I would start doing that. I'd also start looking at what teams you want to try out um i'd also you know start building more you know leveling up your artifacts leveling up your different runes because that's where this is gonna you know take place that does mean more resources that you have to spread if you really want to do well in this um but yeah anyway uh let's see i told you guys about all of this I want to give a giant shout out and thank you to Zygor and the Devet Dev team. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to share all of this information with the community. Um, it means a lot to me. I'm trying. I you know I really want to do my best for you guys and the community. Um, and community, like I said, guys, leave questions. I don't you know I can't always think of all the questions. You know I've been trying to think as many as I can that you guys would need to know. Um, so leave them. Ask them. And I will try to get back to you guys either on my YouTube channel or Facebook or the Discord. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a great night. Again, I'll just kind of go through these slides. You guys can pause it if you would like to. Um, if it allows me, I will put 